What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Miracles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday. I'm so excited, guys. Like, you have no excited how, how I am to play Machamp GX right now. Oh my goodness. Alright, so, uh, Machamp's always been, like, one of my favorite Pokemon from base set. Not, like, super favorite, but, like, always up, like, in the list when I'm playing base set and stuff like that. But today we're covering Machamp GX Carbink Break. I think it's actually a somewhat decent deck. So Machamp GX has 250 HP. He is a beast. Uh, he's got that cross cut attack. 60 of your opponent's active Pokemon's evolution. It does 60 more. So you can do 120 or evolution, which we know like there's a lot of evolution cards out there right now. So you can easily cross cut to take some knockouts. We also have Bedrock Breaker, which is going to be our, our like real attack, really. It does 130, and you discard any stadium card to play. Now, of course, you might be saying, hot, well, Squeaky, hot, what? You do 130. That doesn't really matter. But 130 plus a choice span is 160, plus strong energies is 180, 200, 220, depending on how many strong energies on there. And that's what we're going to go for today. We're going to use that Bedrock Breaker and try to take knockouts that way. Now, we also have Muscle Punch GX. It does 180, and this attack is affected by resistance uh, you can't use more than one gx attack per game you're basically just punching somebody for the knockout like straight 180 you're like whatever i'm gonna punch you to death and uh of course combine this with the choice fan you do 210 uh fight and uh, strong energy 220 blah 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 and you can slowly start doing a ton of damage with all these attacks thanks to f this fighting stuff now we're playing <laughs> this machoke's good as well it has a daunting pose make it where uh prevent all damage done to your bench pokemon by your opponent's attacks your opponent's p attacks and abilities can't put damage cards on your bench pokemon uh which can help you out against decidueye if um if you're worried about that for some reason i think it's so funny or anything else that puts damage counters out uh machoke can't help you there and we are playing this machop with the knuckle punch i think every one of these evolutions are from different sets uh yeah, which is pretty funny. But the way we're going to power up our Machamp GX is going to be through Carbon Break, of course. It's got that Diamond Gev 20, and you attach 2 energy from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon, which is still really great because uh, you can attach strong energies from your discard pile and be good to go. Um, it only has one or tree cost, so it's easy to get out of the act spot. And Carbon still has a somewhat interesting ability, make our EX Pokemon can't hurt you. I know it's not a GX thing, we have nine tails for that, but Carbink Safeguard still could put some po Pokemon in weird situations if they are EX Pokemon. But just be able to uh, generate uh, accelerate energies onto your Machamp, you're good to go. And basically, what you're kind of wanting to do is you power up a Machamp. But champ then like maybe bedrock break it for a knockout because they're hurt from the diamond gift. Then you can muscle punch somebody else for the knockout. And then by that time you should have another Machamp GX ready to go. So hypothetically, you only need two Machamp GXs and you can easily win the game that way. Uh so that's gonna be all of our Pokemon, of course, to Top Lele. So two escape rope, I don't know why I'm in love with escape rope right now. I'm just am um four rare candy, try to get some champs out, turn two ASAP, uh two rescue stretchers, get those Pokemon back. For Ultra Ball 4 BS Seeker, it uh, kind of looks so similar to the Gardevoir deck we saw yesterday. One Guzma, one Lysander. Okay. Uh, three in, four Sycamore. Okay. Like, eh, it's kind of looks the same. All the lists kind of look the same and the trainer cards and stuff like that. I'm kind of just in love with, like, the setup I have with the 4 3 1 1. Uh, you can maybe play Kakui. You can maybe play Ranger. I don't know, some other stuff. But we're playing three Choice Band. We need those to do the extra damage with Bedrock Breaker. Um, two Flowstone. You still need, I mean, it's still nice to have floats on the carvings, like, to save the energy. You don't have to attach it later on. Uh, four strong energy and eight fighting energy. Now, I kind of, sometimes I wish I had some way to get back energies, just in case you do run out. Um, you still need those for the carving to attack, but you don't need them too much because carving just gets it back things to the diamond gift, so you're fine that way. And I think it's a really interesting deck. Like I said, Machamp has 250 HP. He is a monster. He is not getting knocked out of one shot. He's weak to psychic, so you do have to worry about like Garbooter. And it's a pretty rough matchup, and Espeon is a pretty scary matchup as well. But maybe we'll be able to beat it with our Machamp GX deck. But guys, there we go. There's our edition of Rogue Tuesday. Let me know what you think of Machamp GX down below. I'm excited to show this deck off and see what it is. What's, what is it really made of? But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Tuesday. And let's see the deck in action. Alright, so we guess Agron 13579 playing an all psychic deck. Necrozma? Necrozma Lunala. <laughs> Alright, so we're going first, which is good, because we're an evolution deck, so we definitely need to... Okay, what? Pokemon. Please, Pokemon. Let me top deck... Uh, 
something. I don't know what. Just why? All right. So press done. Okay. All right. So there's an Eevee. Well, it's an Espeon deck. All right. So put a fighter in the active. We'll press done. I mean, if he passes, we can diamond get for forty. Eh. All right. Flip something to the active. Town map. Why not? And a Sycamore. All right, so discards an Espeon. Uh, he doesn't have any Espeon's prize, so not really gonna matter too much. Trubbish coming down. Hmm. What's he gonna do here? Retreat to Trubbish and pass. Cool. Cool. This thing is good, guys. This is really good. I should have not evolved. I should have not evolved this turn. Just to let you know. Yeah, I know. I know, Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me there's nothing in my discard pile. I know. We both know. We all know here. So, Garbodor coming down. Okay. And then Espeon coming down. Okay. Alright. Alright. An Ultra Ball discard two cards from his hand. Discards an N in the VS sticker. You sure you don't want to play that in? Just a little bit. Alright, so what would the Ultra Ball get him? Maybe another Trubbish? Oh, a Drampa. Drampa. Okay, so does he put down the Drampa? Oh, he is, okay, that's cool. That's good for us. There's a Rainbow Energy going to Espeon, and we'll see a Via Seeker for Sycamore. Okay, so does our opponent find a Flow Stone here? If he does, we're in trouble because he's going to confuse us. There's an Eevee coming down. Rainer's Mel. Another Trainer's Mel, okay. Choice Band, that's not a Flow Stone. <laughs> Pass on to our turn, all right. Hey, there we go, there's a Lele, so yes, we'll start your card. We'll grab an N, because uh, we really don't want a Sycamore this hand away, because if we do, we are... Gonna get body by some garboders. All right, so we'll end. See what do we find here? Well, we can ultra ball. The discarding uh, double fighting to grab him a chop. I'm weak to psychic, and I. Yep, I am. That's what I thought. I thought I was weak to psychic. I was pretty sure I was. All right, so we put down a chop. We'll put a strong energy on it, and we will diamond gift putting two. Energies on this bench, Machop. Alrighty, so one and two. Thank you, sir, for playing. Alright, so on our opponent's turn, let's see what does he have here. It's a pretty good turn. Uh, but can we find a rare candy Machamp? Pretty nice. Um, we have that one retreat call, so that's good. We can just retreat if needed. Maybe he doesn't maybe he doesn't find a flow stone and he just swings for 20. That would be cool to see. So another Espeon GX coming down onto the field. Now, one thing we do have to worry about is a Psychic. It'll do 6, 79, 10, level 12, 34, 15, uh, times 2, 300. So that is scary. So, we see a Psychic going to the active. We might just see a Trash Lich here for just 20. And, yep, just going to go Trash Lich for 20, which is fine with me. I'm okay with this play. So, we get a Carpink. Uh, we'll put that down, and then we'll just Sycamore. Just discard our hand, draw on 70 cards. So, we get him a Choke. We can put that guy down. We can Ultra Ball. Uh, discarding a Fighting and a Sycamore for another Machop. Okay. So put it on Machop. And we will go for another Diamond Gift for 20. I think right now he's swinging for 60. So he's still not going to take a knockout on us. So put it on Machop. And we'll just alter our opponent's turn. Now, can we take a knockout from Champ next turn? Yes. Um, we can put it on Machamp. Top of Lele for Guzma, bring up the Espeon Jax, and use Muscle Punch for 200 to knock out the Espeon. Uh, we actually, can we go for the other attack? No, actually, B Bedrock B Breaker does not take a knockout, unfortunately. So, we're going to Lele, and hopefully, I think I saw Guzma there, if I remember correctly. So, there's Kakui, going to draw two cards, okay? So, no Lysander, so we don't have to worry about that. He's still not taking a knockout Garboder, so that's good. Uh, we see a Psychic going to Drampa, and we see a Trash Lance for 80 damage. So, on our turn, we will Lele for Guzma. I'm pretty sure it's in the deck. I'm hoping it is. And there he is. I can always see that full art wherever he is. He is just so 
Crazy looking. All right, so well, Guzma bringing up his Espeon, bringing up our Machoke, <clears throat> put down the Machamp, and we will take a knockout here. We'll use that good old Muscle Punch GX doing 200 damage, take a knockout of Espeon GX, and we go down to four prize cards. All right, so we find a Machop and a Rare Candy. All right, so my opponent's turn, he might send up the Garboder. Okay. Um, if he sends the Garboder, what we can do is we can Bedrock Breaker the Drampa for a knockout, which is pretty cool. That's something we could do next turn because Garboder really is not too scary right now. Go to send the Espeon. Okay. Um, there's a Choice Band. Going to the active. We see a Psychic Energy. So we're going to see a Side Beam here for 60. It's a Choice Band. <clears throat> no, 3, 6, 120 actually. All right, so Sycamore discounting a bunch of stuff. All right, you Trevor's just coming down. All right. And there's a side beam for uh, 120. And we're confused. All right, so on our turn, we find a Machop. Okay. So. Hmm. What to do here? Um. A part of me just wants a second more of this hand away and just send a carving and just swing this turn. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna second large discard. We're putting two more item cards in discard pile, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so we can flush on the active, which is really nice. We can put a fighting energy on the Machop, put down a Machoke. We can retreat into the Carbink. And we can use that diamond gift for 20 damage, okay? We'll put, uh, we have no energy in discard pile, whatever. So almost our opponent's turn. Let's see what are we down? Okay, I think we're still fine here. So it's a guard border coming down. Okay. Um, can we do 180 next turn? 130, 60, 80. If we find a choice band and a strong energy, we can. And then we go license and bring a drampa. Actually, what we could do next turn is just like Guzma, bring up the drampa, take a knockout, maybe that way. Um, there's a couple things we could do here. Just depends on what we draw and what he has. Like, he could light into the champ and take a knockout that way. So, there's a DC going to the active. <clears throat> um, it's weird that he came at the DC to the active because he's taking a knockout here regardless. So, he's going to take a knockout going down to four, five. Okay. So, send him a champ. And I really. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So, right now, Garboda is doing 100. Okay. So, send him a champ. Ona, our turn. We get a strong energy. So, put a strong energy in this guy. Oh boy. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's doing 200 because he has weakness, unfortunately. Hmm. Um, because we could bedrock break and just one shot the Drampa, which I think is fine here. See, I'm going to license the Drampa and his bedrock breaker for the knockout. Okay. So you get knockout here going out of four or two. We find him a champ and a fighting energy. All right, so we have them a champ for next turn. Put on this guy. It just depends. Who does he send up here? And he's going to send the guard boater. Okay, unfortunately, he's going to send the guard boater, which is not, that's not who we want to see in the axe spot. So we see an Eevee come down. Okay. <clears throat> now, I think regardless, next turn, I'm going to promote them a choke here. And the reason why I'm going to do this is that we top like a, a strong energy. I mean, a. Um, <laughs> If we talk like a choice ban, we can knock out that bench Espeon. Alright, so there's Sycamore. Alright, and if we don't, we can just retreat to Machoke and send the Carp again to Sycamore, trying to find a carving break. So there's another Garboder. Oh, a Garbotoxin Garboder, which really doesn't change too much. And there we see Trash Lynch for the knockout doing 200 damage. Thanks, or 260, thanks to our weakness. All right, so get him a choke. Come on, buddy. Let me top deck a choice man. We haven't seen one all game. Can we find one or not? On our turn, and it's a choice. Oh my goodness, a choice man. All right, so a choice man. We'll put down a champ. We uh, said so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll be a seeker for a. I didn't think it was a choice man at first, but I forgot. <laughs> it's got that full. It's got the golden one. So we'll license up the Espeon GX. And we will go for Bedrock Breaker for 180 damage, knock on the Espeon EX, and take it a win against one of our worst matchups. It's all Psychic, which is what Machamp's weak to, and it punishes us for using item cards, which we have to do because we're an evolution deck, and we took down Espeon Garboder, which at one point was considered one of the best decks of the format. So there you go, guys. There is the
the Machamp GX deck. Take it down SPL Garbodor, so that is fantastic. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was a quick video, it was only one match, but man, that was an insane match, and I think it does count like, holy cow, that was crazy, and I bet, I, there's no way you would see a better match than that. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. Have a great day. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.